Hello everyone, welcome to day seven of the Christmas Advent calendar from Hand Drawn by Mel. I've left a link in the description below if you want to download it and start coloring with us. Now that the color palette for the page is pretty much set, the fun challenge comes with reusing some of those same colors and making sure they're evenly distributed across the page. So for today's square of the candy canes, we're going to pull in some of the brown from the gingerbread man square and some of the blue from the sweater square while still using some of the traditional reds and greens that are so all these colors together once the page is finished well i think we'll have a nice cohesive color palette and a page that makes sense and so let's get started Well, this isn't necessarily the color I would pick for a background if I was doing something like this all by itself. Um, the color makes sense to me in light of the, the limited palette we're using on the, on the page, and I think it will make sense once we see it all together. So I'm excited to see how this page turns out, actually. Oh, this is a Prismacolor 946 dark brown. And because it's quite a bit darker than the next color, I'm going to try to work really hard at um, feathering it real well so that there's not a hard line of it. You know, so that the, the transition from one color to the other is relatively smooth. So in here, this part I'm doing right now, I'm very, very light pressure. But here on the corner, it's very dark pressure. Dark pressure, hard pressure, a lot of pressure. <laughs> Move my drink out of the way there. My throat is still a little raspy, so I probably won't do a lot of talking. Just enjoy the music and color along. Actually, because the second color of this 
color scheme, the gingerbread man color is very, it's, it's kind of um, a reddish brown. It's got quite a lot of red. I'm going to do our very light layer of this darker chocolate brown all over just to, to tone that red down that's going to come in the next color. But very, very light. And in fact, maybe at the center I might not do any at all, just so the golden of the third color shows up a little bit better there. If I can do it that light. <clears throat> To <clears throat> hard to color that light. Sometimes I find it hard to get right up next to the line. Stop going over. Okay, let's do the second color now. This is Burnt Ochre, Prismacolor, 943. goal is to get this roughly looking like the gingerbread cookie. <clears throat> so at the very end I'll pull, a, I will try to pull the camera back a little so we can see, the, see them both at the same time. Hard to color lightly and get it even at the same time for me, but I will do a very, very light layer in the middle. We probably might need a few layers to get the coverage we want, but it's easier to do more than it is to do too much at the beginning and not be able to back up. So.
Let's make sure that even that layer is kind of even all the way around. Okay, now for the last layer, hopefully. <clears throat> this is Prismacolor 1034 Goldenrod, and hopefully this is what will give it the <clears throat> golden hue of the gingerbread cookie. If it turns out too yellow, we can add some more of that brown. Okay, <clears throat> now for the red stripes on the candy cane. We'll do a little bit, um, we'll cover the whole, the whole stripe and then we'll do, we'll darken the edges just a little bit to help give a little more dimension. very subtle not sure if you can see it on the camera but it's there trust me sometimes the color is very subliminal you don't really even notice it but if you took it away you'd notice an overall flatness <clears throat> so Now for the ribbon, I'm going to use that teal color from the sweater from day four. 
This is Peacock Blue Prismacolor 1027. Do it right here since that's under the fold and here to indicate it's farther away. It's kind of curving down around the <clears throat> candy canes. Get a little shadowy here where the ribbon is underneath. Graduate that a little darker. I want this darker color to kind of show through the lighter color, so that's why I decided to <clears throat> go really lightly over the rest. <clears throat> then this lighter color is Light Aqua Prismacolor 992. Yellow stars. Same yellow as the <clears throat> flame in the background here. And I'm not sure what color to make the circles until I do the frame. And I'm going to do that in the green from the leaves up above just to kind of tie that together a little bit. Um, darker here. This is a Castle Hooker's Green 54. And darker in the corners. And then a light covering of the whole thing and then blend that, you know, blend that in. So it's a gradual change. The second color is a little bright. So having this darker color underneath <clears throat> helps tone it down just a hair. This is the lighter color, Castle Green Deep 57. This has all been pretty, pretty solid pressure to make a nice deep color and try to blend in with that darker green. So pretty, pretty solid. And then in the corner, oh gosh, it looks so dark on the screen. Wow. I guess I will post a picture because I, photographs don't turn out quite so dark even in this same lighting. So that is very interesting. It really isn't that dark in real life, but... <laughs> Okay, so now for the corners, I think I'll just do the same green, just for consistency. Darker in the corner, fade it out. 
as it goes in towards the middle. green deep sorry I'm off the page I'm so sorry that was always my one of my peeves for watching other artists is when they would go off the page and then I just keep doing it so evidently it's easier to do than you think so, I apologize. <clears throat> okay. So now, for the dots, I feel like I feel like the number needs to be green. Hmm. Well, the number is green right here. So. Let's make, let's make the number red, the lighter red. And we'll make the dots the same color as the ribbon, the dark green of the, or the dark turquoise, the peacock blue. That works. Okay, and then this the white. Now the question is, I color all the white parts, or do we just make the little? I think I'm gonna not color in all the white parts, like because I, I didn't color in like this white part. I didn't color that in. I just made the accent in the snowflake with the white pen. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I think. Yeah, I know it feels like it's cheating a little bit, but I think that as long as it achieves what you want. It's okay. So we're just going to do like the little shine line. Shows kind of a reflection. Along the top. I think that'll do. And like I said, I will post a picture and put it here while we're talking um, just so you can see the true color of that, and I will try to figure out the lighting. <laughs> so until next time, till tomorrow, have a great day.